I've already gotten something on the shirt. <laughs> tea, no less. That won't well, stay. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am back in Minnesota, and it's been a flippin' minute since I did a mac and cheese hack, especially, but mac and cheese, and I am craving it. I've also been craving tuna fish, and this might be nostalgic for you guys too, but like a tuna casserole just feels, I don't know, like my childhood. Not even because I had tuna casserole all the time, but I just loved tuna fish sandwiches. I loved mac and cheese. It's like everything I love combined into one. What are you doing up there, kitten? What? What are you doing? So since I've been looking for more ways to get protein into my dishes, especially my pasta dishes and mac and cheese, I decided to throw a bunch of tuna in here and make it a tuna casserole, tuna melt mac and cheese. So we've got cheddar and American and cottage cheese, which I blended super high in protein, low in fat. That's all inside. And I used half chicken stock and half milk this time to try to cut down on the fat too. Really, this just allows me to eat more of it. And then I topped the whole thing with some thinly sliced fresh tomatoes and crushed some Ritz crackers over the top. I just love Ritz crackers. They're already buttery. They're like doing all of the amazing breadcrumb work for you. All right, guys, that being said, I've got my mac and cheese spoon, but it is like officially faded, aren't you? There's like a little, little tiny bit of the black on some of the letters. That's it. There's still the indentation though. All right, guys, let's get into this. I'm really, really excited. <laughs> Tuna melt mac and cheese, oh my gosh. And the tuna is like really shredded up in here. Guys. Oh my gosh. The cheddar is like the ode to the mac and cheese. I always put American cheese on my tuna melt. Though some people do put cheddar, so I figured the combination would really round it out nicely. I was right. Mm. Mm. Hot. Those Ritz crackers, I didn't do anything to them. I just crushed them up. It was so easy and they're so crunchy and buttery and delicious. I may have snagged a few Ritz crackers while I was in the process of crushing them. I really, really like the fresh tomatoes on here too. I like the contrast in temperatures because the tomatoes are kind of cold room temperature. Obviously the mac and cheese is hot. And whenever you have a tuna melt, you don't have hot tomatoes, you have fresh sliced tomatoes. So I thought that this would make more sense for a tuna melt mac and cheese. Mm. Mm. I'm so happy with this. Mm. Kittens, be nice to one another. P.S. The chicken stock worked beautifully. It's still super creamy, but lighter, which I really like. It's got a similar amount of protein 
It might even have more protein per cup than milk. I'll have to double check this, but way fewer calories. So nice little hack to make it a little bit lower in fat when you're making any mac and cheese, I guess. Maybe not any, but you can kind of like use your best judgment. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. You gonna do anything? No? Whatever. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that right now. These tomatoes are so sweet. It really, really makes it. I was considering putting red onion on here. And I do have the red onion still. It's like sliced up on the counter next to me. I just didn't think it would look nice on top without the Ritz cracker and tomato situation. It looked nice, so I didn't add it, but you totally could. I also last minute decided I wanted to add celery seed because there's celery in tuna salad, but I wasn't so like keen on hot celery adding that at the beginning. So I thought celery seed, I have that, I forgot that I had it, and it really adds that celery flavor without like having hot celery. And then the paprika, I was like, oh, add a little bit of color. To me, paprika doesn't have all that much flavor. If you're using smoked paprika, yeah. It does add a little something. I know I've been like really against powdered seasonings. I don't typically use paprika because I don't think things necessarily need it but something about this just felt right with paprika like I love paprika with like deviled eggs egg salad so I kind of went in that direction deviled eggs egg salad tuna salad why not <laughs> I have a feeling Shane's really gonna like this. He'll probably wanna pick up some peas. He used to always have mac and cheese with tuna and peas when he was younger. I'll have to remove the tomatoes for him because he can't stand fresh tomatoes or any tomato that's like still in any way whole. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but Butters is a complete psychopath. <laughs> what happened? Did you have fun down the earth? Mm. I like need a straw. If I didn't mention it before, I brewed my own sweet tea. I'm gonna use stevia, so it's not like real sugar. Though still natural sugar, I guess. So 
so good. I was like craving sweet tea and something about sweet tea also just says childhood to me. I can never have sweet tea anymore. I don't know why. <laughs> This was so flipping good, guys. I can't get over it. The tuna works so well in this. Canned salmon totally has to happen, 100%. Crab, oh my gosh. This is opening up like a whole world of possibilities. <laughs> mm. I said to myself I was only going to eat a third. <laughs> That's it, I'm buying a metal straw. Oh, hello, fat kitten. Hello. What you doing? What's your brother doing over there? Oh. I really do want more. I said I was going to eat that. Just, just a just a little, just a little bit more. <laughs> mm. Mm. By the way, if you wanted to add more cheese to this, you could. In my opinion, this is one of the least cheesy mac and cheeses that I've made. And it's still so creamy. So it's just a matter of if you want like a really strong cheese flavor. Personally, I feel like this is really just about the right balance because in a tuna melt, it tends to be more about the tuna than the melt. So I think that this really more accurately represents like the proportions of that while still like really feeling like a mac and cheese. That being said, if you wanted to add a little bit more cheddar, a little bit more American, you can do that. I actually put in six cups of liquid this time, and then I added the pureed cottage cheese into here. So there was a little bit extra liquid. I'm gonna put in the recipe to do five and a half cups of liquid, and you can split that up however you want. You could do half chicken stock, half milk, you do a little bit more chicken stock than milk. I wouldn't go too low on the milk because then it won't eat as creamy. But either way, you could play around with it. Just remember that six cups of liquid, but the cottage cheese kind of added to that liquid. Another thing that I want to say. This is so good. Shane is really going to love this. I didn't expect the cheddar to melt the way that it did in the oven. Like it just became totally creamy. I did not expect it to do that. Here I am grating my cheddar. Granted, I did buy Cracker Barrel, so it's not like the Kerrygold high quality cheddar cheese that I normally buy. I don't know how the Kerrygold would melt, but the Cracker Barrel cheese melted great. So I've got to do more Cracker Barrel cheddar cheese mac and cheeses because it was just so easy. Specifically when I do these hacks, oh my gosh.
I'm still eating it. <laughs> Somebody stop me! Oh my gosh. That was so good. So good. Mm. The sweet tea is so good with it. So refreshing. I really don't want to stop eating it. Great, great sign. Great first go. Again, I had to remove a little bit of the liquid when I saw it coming together and it looked just like a little liquidy. I just took a turkey baster, took a half cup out. No big deal. I'm like always experimenting when I do these videos for you guys. I'm not like making it 10 times and then showing you. I don't know what I would do with all that food. <laughs> There have been a couple of times where I have like just mega failed and have not been able to shoot with it. But the majority of the time I feel comfortable enough showing you guys these recipes. This one in particular, you've got to flip and make. If you like tuna fish, if you like tuna melts, if you like mac and cheese, you got to make it. It's taking so much for me to not keep eating this right now. All right, guys. <laughs> that's it for me get away from me get away <laughs> thank you so much for watching today you guys know how much I appreciate you I'm so grateful for all of you comment below what you thought about this recipe about my mac and cheese hack you've probably seen it before but what do you think of it what else should I do with the mac and cheese hack I do have some pasta hacks that I'm gonna do in the same style that aren't like mac and cheese so Expect to see that in the semi near future. And yeah, that's it. That's it for me. I feel good. I feel happy to be home, happy to be back cooking for you guys in my comfort zone, which is one part of my kitchen. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much for joining today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.